That was the only important concept in this class. And I'm going to demonstrate how to create eight networks in two kinds of settings. Link connector, which include Epson and Vsync. I'm going to demonstrate them in this lecture. And uh, in the next lecture, I want to talk about link node uh, setting. Okay? So, first demonstration is Epson. I want to quickly show you how to do them so you can understand them in detail. In, in detail. Okay, so Amazon. In Amazon, you first create a new network. And I want to talk about the interface a little bit more. Uh, here is the toolbar to create an entity. And this is the main working area or the view area. That your network, uh, that you can see your network, and in this area, all the invisible entities will be grouped or categorized. So these are data that cannot be visualized, but they are grouped in a hierarchical, hierarchical way, and this is the output or info when info area. Okay, let me create us in Amazon. A link is called a section. So if you Go to this button. I, I guess you probably have to review this, I mean, review my video after the class because I will be talking this uh, quickly. Okay, so create a section. I click that button and I will be able to drag a segment like this. Like this. Okay, and when you, when you want to finish, just double click. <coughs> then you create a segment. And you left click, you can press delete to delete it. Okay? So let me create a four way stop sign here. Create a section like this. Let me do it again. Create a section from here. from here to here. Press your left button and drag it. <coughs> I don't know why it's not showing. <coughs> oh, I clicked the wrong button. So here, this is the created section. Double click. So this is one unidirectional uh, section. If you click it and right click, you will be able to generate opposite direction. So then you have two links. For each link, if you click it, it will show some control points and a middle line, yellow, the, the red middle line. And if you drag this yellow line, you will be able to move the link. Okay? So this is one approach. Let me quickly create our other approaches. You can use your middle, uh, the, the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out, like in GIS. Okay, for each of them, them, generate opposite direction. If you press shift, you can select multiple links. And if you drag the red one, you will be able to move them. Now this uh, this shape is not perfect, but uh, let's just use this shape to save time. So the next step will be create a node, and this node actually is not a physical entity. Okay, it's a collection of turnings. In Amazon, turning means connector. Remember this: turning means connector. So when you create a node, you create some turnings. So the first turning is from, let me see, what I'm, uh, see how I'm doing here. From here to here. Left click, use left clicks. The second turning, this is first turning, okay? Now I create a new turn. Left click here, and left click here. Another turning, left, left. Oh, okay? 
And in this way, we can quickly create all the turnings. For example, in this turning, it's only for this lane, from this lane and to other two lanes. And I can press shift and click and add this link, this link. See it? And by doing this, we created 12 turnings. Oh, not 12. I'm not finished yet. From here, still three more. From here to here. From here to here. And from both of these to here. Now I have 12 turnings for this intersection. And in this window, you will be able to see the speed limit for each turning. So you can define the travel speed at within each turning for each connector. And here you, can be, you will be able to select the warning, like yield sign or stop sign. So what I want to do is create a four-way stop sign uh, setting. So I just select stop sign for each turn. When you select an item here, you will, you will be able to see that in the main view window. So let me just do it very quick. So in this way, we install 12 stop signs. Stop signs. 12. 8 stop signs, but they represent 12 stop signs for 12 turnings. Now we have already finished editing this network. Uh, let me show you how to modify the shape of them. So for this link, it's straight, but we can right click this link and add curve vertex. Then we will be able to see one more middle point, and we can use left turn to drag it. For each turning, you can select it and right turn, uh, right click and add curve vertex, and then we'll be able to move it. Okay. Now we have the network with four uh, with stop signs. The next step, we are going to add some vehicles. In order to do that, we have to create a centroid. A centroid is, pre, is corresponding to the OD <coughs> matrix that I explained in the last lecture. So a centroid is the centroid of a, a traffic analysis zone. So I create one OD matrix, uh, one zone here, and I create one here, and I create one here, and one here. If I double click this centroid, I will be able to select the links that are associated with it. So, new, I select this one, this link, and new, select this one. Let me explain it in more detail. So in the setting of a centroid, you can select the links that are from, which means the traffic generated from this zone will appear in that link. Or two, which means the traffic that are attracted by this zone will end it, will, will go to this, this link. So let me do it quickly. So new this link, and new, this link. So for this centroid, we define the to and from zones, well, to and from links, sorry. Okay, then I'll do it quickly for all other, all other zones. Click new, and select this link. Double click, new, select this link, new, this link.
By doing this, we created four centroids. And we will be able to see here, uh, in the project area, we have demand data. Under demand data, we have centroid configurations. Then we have centroid configuration and its ID. If we right-click it and new, we'll be able to create OD matrix. So here is a matrix. We double click that only matrix, we'll be able to specify from uh, specify the, the number of trips between each OD pair. So for example, here I put 100 vehicles. Here I put another 100 vehicles. This is from 218 to 221. 100. 100. Okay, so I created, uh, I've already created an OD matrix, but we have to select the vehicle types that this vehicle, this OD matrix is using. So, for example, cars. Okay. Then the next step will be this is only an OD matrix. Uh, in traffic management, we talk, typically refer travel demand as OD matrix. But in Amazon, they are different. A travel demand can be comprising several OD matrices. Then we go to add demand data, traffic demand. After we added the traffic demand, we will be able to associate the OD matrix with this demand. So add demand item and select this OD matrix, the matrix that we just created. Then if we go to, I think now we, are able, we will be able to start simulation. We still do it from here. Press this plus button, add scenarios. Scenarios means uh, simulation scenarios. It can be dynamic, which includes microscopic and mesoscopic or macro scenario. So let's select dynamic scenario. We'll be able to see here. For each scenario, we can create several experiments. So we we'll create one experiment. For each experiment, we can create several replications. For example, we can create 10 replications, which means we are going to run it 10 times. And at the same time, we are going to get an average. This is an average. Okay? For this experiment, we have to right click it, right click it, choose the property. Let me check. If it's a scenario. We have to associate the demand to this scenario. Where it is. Let me just run it and see the output. So for this rep uh, replication, if I right click, I can use animated simulation. And here it says, no traffic demand has been associated with this scenario. So I go to this scenario, double click. OK, I see here. So here I can select the traffic demand that's associated with this scenario. And yeah, select it and OK. In this way, we'll be able to start the replication again. It's preparing. It's currently 